Hello, this is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight. I want to spend just a couple of minutes now talking about the 3D web. Now, notice I didn't say 3D television, where you have to wear those special glasses. No, no, no. We're talking about the internet in 3D. Let's think about it just for a second. A web browser right now, whenever you go to a website, big company, IBM, doesn't matter. You're basically looking at a 2D website. It's a flat piece of paper. It's got a hyperlink in there, an embedded photograph or video. Well, that's 2D. So I have already been using a prototype of a 3D web browser. Pretty easy to predict the future when you've already got it. And it's going to be coming your way pretty soon. So let's think about it and how it will literally transform all of our websites. Now, 3D web. Uh, first of all, let's just uh, think for a second about why you don't need glasses. And the reason you don't need glasses is because the viewing angle of your computer has gotten much smaller. Why? It's a, it's a smartphone. It's a tablet. PC sales over the last couple of years has been going down. What's been going up dramatically? Well, the new PC, which is, of course, tablets and smartphones. That's your main computing device. Now, remember, of course, we'll still have tablets. We'll still have desktops. Matter of fact, we'll still have mainframes. But our main computer has a smaller screen, which means the viewing angle is not very great. There's not 100 people trying to watch it or a whole room full of people. So you don't need the glasses. Already, there are game stations and uh, 3D gaming available with some of the kids' games today already. That means, hey, it's heading your way soon. And what would you be able to do with this? Well, let's just think for a second. If I am selling uh, Lexus cars and I'm a dealership, uh, you'll go to my 3D website and you'll be able to take a look at the new models, go inside the room, open the door, just walk right on in. You can walk around the models, take a look at them. Uh, if you like, uh, you can open up the trunk. You can put some virtual golf clubs in the virtual trunk to see how they fit. Uh, you can open the door, get inside, close the door. You'll hear it shut and sound exactly like it really sounds. In 3D, by the way, 3D audio, because you have stereo speakers as well. And uh, you will be able to start it up, listen to it if you want to, take a look at the interior, look around, see how much room you got, uh, put in your height and weight, and it'll see how much headroom you have. This is going to revolutionize websites. It'll revolutionize meetings. Not only will we go to our meeting and go to see all of the vendors and all of their wares at that meeting, uh, but you'll be able to go to the virtual meeting afterwards and walk the aisles and uh, see all of it, what was there in three dimension and pre-schedule a call on a web wall. Yeah, that's right. So that you can see the rep right there, even though the conference is a month ago or it's been two months ago. Doesn't matter. The conference goes on now in 3D. I've only given you a couple of quick, quick applications, but I want you to think to yourself, how might we use the 3D website, since you know it's coming, and the 3D browser to transform our business? I think you'll get some great answers. This is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight.